Hello, my name is Jeremy Scream and I'm an Iron Speed MVP. In this video we will be reviewing various customizations that can be performed on PDF reports. The application we'll be using for our tutorial was generated on the Southwind database that ships with Iron Speed and was built using version 9.2 and the Riesling theme. The first thing to notice is that right out of the box, just by pointing our application at a well-designed database, Iron Speed has given us a huge amount of functionality prior to having to do any coding or customization at all. Let's take a look at the default PDF report shown here that was generated for us 100% by Iron Speed. Another thing we'll notice is that any filters that we apply in our form will also be respected by our report. So if we set a filter on country for France and then look at our report again, we'll notice that we only see customers whose country was France. So all of this was done for us by Iron Speed. So far we haven't had to do anything at all. Pretty nice. There are many customizations that can be performed by building on the provided PDF report functionality that is part of Iron Speed Designer generated applications. This functionality does not serve as a replacement for a full-blown report writer. However, in many cases, you can achieve the desired results without having to get your hands too dirty. IronSpeed has given us four well-designed and documented areas in which to hook into for PDF report customizations. The most generic area is to work with an XML file that resides under a report folder within your generated application. There's one PDF.report file per application and is used for specifying page styles. If we scroll down here through this file, we'll see that it is an XML and it contains various tags and values that would apply to specific formatting styles for reports. No, any change that we make to this file is global to all reports within our application. Also under our reports folder are additional files pdf.en.report and pdf.en-us.report. There may also be additional copies of this file with different language and culture settings depending on the languages and cultures used within your application. The fourth and final area that we have to hook into PDF customizations is a button specific report XML file located under each table for the specific database object. Okay, let's take one more look at our report as it is without any modifications. What we have is a listing of customers from our customers table and what we're going to do is change the title of the customers to be a little bigger, a different font color and we'll underline it as well. So to do that we're going to go into the pdf.report file and look for a section called center header. In that section we're going to change some XML values so that the color of our font is going to be a navy blue. We'll increase the size to 14 point and we'll tell it to underline the value as well. Now let's save this and take a quick look at these changes as they applied to our report. Again, this is going to be global to all reports, so every report title will now be navy blue 14 point and underline. Pretty easy. The next customization we're going to look at involves modifying the click code for the PDF report. This will allow us to add or remove columns and change the order or formatting. So underneath the particular PDF button for the customers table, we have some click code here that Iron Speed has generated for us that goes through the customers table, adds some columns, and then iterates through the data and inputs that into a report and then displays that as PDF. All of the documentation on what's going on is provided right here in the button for us by Iron Speed. So we're going to go ahead and work with that, make some changes here that will give us our next level of customization that we can do with PDF reports. First change we're going to make is to change the report title to Acme Customers. Then we're going to comment out the customer ID column 
and that will essentially remove that column from our report. Now in here we can start cutting and pasting these columns in different orders so that we can modify the output of where they appear on the report. So let's move region down below country and let's take out country and put that just below city. And get rid of this extra line. And then we'll scroll down below to where iron speed is actually iterating through our table and inputting values for each row in the table into the columns up above. Above we took out the customer ID, we're going to take that out down here as well. And what I'm doing here is just moving the columns around to match the order up above. This step isn't necessary and I'll, you'll see why in the next section of our video, but just so things line up I'm going to go ahead and do it here anyways. Alright, so all our changes are set, let's save that run our report and uh, take a look at what we've got so far. And as you see when we open our report it now says Acme Customers. The customer ID column is no longer present and we've switched the order of country and region. Before we do our last and final customization I just wanted to go into the help file here and show you all the documentation that's provided for us on working with PDF report customizations. So inside the IronSpeed help file, if we do a search for, for example, add data, which is the function that is used to input data from each row in our table into the column of our report, IronSpeed has both C Sharp and VBNet vb.net code explaining how to use that and there's some examples <coughs> as well as various other things you can do with the function. Another thing you can search for is just the word PDF and that will give you quite a few help references that can show you even further customizations that you can make with PDF reports. All the documentation is well written, easy to read, full of examples, and so you'll find this as a great resource as you're coming up with your own customizations for your PDF reports. So the last customization that we want to make involves merging a few columns of the report into a single column. For example, we're going to take our address column and we're going to take the address, city, state, country, and region and put those all into a single output in our report. So to get started with that I remembered a help topic that I saw that showed us how to work with formatting data within a column. So let's click this link here, Customize PDF Report Code. And since I'm working with VB.net, let's scroll down here into that section. And here's essentially what we're going to do. We're going to combine substitution parameters to create a single field from a combination of multiple individual fields. IronSpeed has been generous enough to give us the exact code we need right here, but it's not too hard to modify for our own purposes. <coughs> so then to do this we're going to go back into the click event of the report specific PDF button. Well, let's just take another look at the report the way we have it. And we're going to move some fields around and then we're going to combine address, city, country, postal code, and region into a single column. Let's go back to designer and the first thing I'm going to do in designer well, let me copy this here so we have it to work with before we close out our help file.
Okay, so we're back in Designer. And I'm going to go ahead and re click this Restore, which is going to reset all of our customizations we've made and put it back to the Iron Speed generic code that Iron Speed provided for us. Make a few changes back the way we had them. We'll reset the title and we'll remove the customer ID column. And then we can reorder some columns so that our contact person title and information is all in relative proximity on the report. And then we'll <coughs> what we're going to do is down below where we have all of our five columns of address information. We're going to comment these out because we're essentially going to merge them into one add column, which is going to be the combination of all of the fields. And we'll put that right below company name. So we need to make some modifications to this. first parameter represents the text of the column header, so we're going to just change that to a string address. Second parameter is the alignment, and the third parameter is the actual format of the column detail, and that's where we're going to have to start merging these fields. So we'll leave the address on line one, and then we'll add a line feed carriage return and then on the second line we're going to concatenate some values and so down below we can just copy the city and that's going to go in our second set of string values add a space and then we're going to <coughs> include the region as well as the postal code and then we're going <coughs> to add another carriage return line feed and so now we're going to be on the third line of our address and in there we're going to use the country for that particular company address. So that's really all we need to do up here. And down below we don't have to do anything because we've already commented out customer ID. So let's click run and take a look at our report. Under the actions we'll click the PDF report button and once we open that we'll see that our address field now contains three lines as we specified our contact information is in the columns that we specified and we've customized this PDF report based on some basic code provided by IronSpeed as well as our own code that gives you a good overview of some of the customizations you can do with PDF reports in IronSpeed I hope this video gets you started with coming up with your own ideas and customizations that you can make specific to your own needs. If you end up becoming the next PDF customization master, be sure to share your findings with the IronSpeed community. Thanks everyone.